Welcome theater addicts! My name is Madison Steele and today I'm going to be reviewing Mind Magic written by Louis Pisani at the False Creek Gym as a part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. I'm super excited. Um, I get to see a magic show. This, it sounds amazing. He's from Edmonton. Um, what I really want to do is I just want to read you an excerpt of the little write-up because it's incredible. It, it sounds like the best. So this show features mind reading, lightning calculation, and incredible mind over matter light demonstrations. Okay, so that's mind reading, lightning calculations, and incredible mind over matter demonstrations. I don't really want to have my mind read. I don't know what that looks like. I, I feel like people would be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> if they read my mind. Um, but this show sounds super, super cool. I am excited and I will let you know how it goes after. I just saw a show called Mind Magic um, by Louis Pisani and this show <laughs> was wild. It was wild. I'm kind of having trouble figuring out how exactly to respond to this show because there were so many things that happened and I just kept being like, how is he doing this? How is he doing this? How did he do that? Um, it wasn't like sleight of hand magic or, you know, any kind of like traditional magic show. There wasn't any like, you know, fancy lighting or music or like anything even like that. Um, it was, <laughs> it was like psychic magic. Um, and I guess that that's implied in the title, right? Like it's called mind magic, but I didn't expect him to legitimately surprised me in what he was able to deduce from people. Um, it was very cool. So what I really, really liked about Louis Pisani is that even though he was clearly himself and, you know, he's the artist and the writer and he's the one who put this show together and is the magician, he was also very much a character. Um, and so I wrote this list of everything that he reminded me of and I'm gonna read that list to you now. One of the sharks from Finding Nemo, because every time he went up to pick an audience member, he was like, hi. <laughs> but in like a really good way. Um, it made it kind of terrifying, like you didn't wanna get chosen, but also you kind of did wanna get chosen, you know? Like one of the mean girls in high school, you know, like you don't want them to look at you, but then when they do, you're kind of excited. Um, a wizard, he was a lot like a wizard. Um, because most of what he did I just couldn't figure out how it was being done so it was like real magic <laughs> a super villain you know like if like I feel like if your your dad was secretly a super villain on the side at night on stage in the theater <laughs> this is what that would be like he was also a lot like a mad scientist um, he seemed crazy but then when he was doing things, they turned out to be very real and very not crazy, which was kind of amazing, just like how you would imagine a mad scientist, you know, discover something incredible about the human psyche. It was a lot like that. It was very cool. There were also moments in which he reminded me of Sauron from Lord of the Rings, which was really fun. <laughs> it was really fun. So also full disclosure, I did get chosen. I did get picked to, to go up for uh, one of the like mind magic tricks and <laughs> I was so scared. I was also sitting in the very very back um, taking notes in my notebook and I was so paranoid that he could see me and that he knew that I was reviewing him and then like he could tell everything that I was writing. Not that I was writing anything ultra negative um, but I just you know I kept putting the notebook down and pretending like I wasn't I wasn't doing anything because I knew that he could see me. Um, yeah, so, you know, the other thing is that today it was a really, really small group of people. And I think it was a matinee, so I went to go see it at, at noon. Um, so that's always kind of a tricky time for the Fringe, and it's a Sunday. So I feel like at noon on a Sunday, not a lot of people are going to see magic shows necessarily. So I, I think it was a little bit tricky. Um, it was still a really great time. I could tell that everyone was enjoying themselves. Everyone was pretty impressed. It's a kid-friendly show, which is awesome. 
Um, so for young people and children, this show is perfect, it's amazing. It's also really fun for adults because he's such a strange man and an interesting man and I was pretty pretty blown away by some of the things that he did. Um, I don't want to give too many spoilers away because I think that's just not very nice. But um, no, it was it was super cool. He also tied in a lot of practical ways that this stuff can be applied. Oh, hi, he I'm talking about good. you. Oh he my gosh, good, actually, too. <laughs> here he is. <laughs> wow, that's kind of a cool setup. Yeah. Is it cool? Very yeah. Nice. It? We're with Vancouver Theater Addicts. Groovy. Yeah. Well, hi. Hi. Come see the show. Come see the show. How did you feel about it? What, today? Yeah. It was cozy. It was cozy. It was there wasn't cozy. too many people. <laughs> but not many people show up on a Sunday at 1225. Go figure, That's huh? That's what I said. Shocker. I know. <laughs> um, I have to ask you. Please. Could you tell that I was reviewing the show when I was sitting in the back? Um, I was I'm so hoping curious. someone was reviewing the show and said, it's really better than you think by the amount of people who showed up. <laughs> it's not. It's a mad day. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> it's Sunday. Everyone in Vancouver's hungover. I think. It's true. Or they're at brunch. Or they're at brunch as opposed to mind magic. How is that even possible? Why, what's crazy. wrong with you people? So many. Things. They'll be here Thursday though at 10, 10 at night. <laughs> yeah, Thursday at ten p.m. Come see the show. That's a fun time though. Okay. I enjoyed it. Well, thank you. Thank very you very kind. much. You're horribly kind. <laughs> Please come. <laughs> come Bye. see the show. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, he's clearly a wizard. <laughs> so my name is Madison Steele, and I just reviewed Mind Magic by Louis Pisani, or Louis Pisani, at the False Creek Gym as a part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. So nice to see Louis on camera. <laughs> Um, genuinely come see his show it's it's a lot of fun and it's mind-blowing he is from Toronto but he's performed all over the world super interesting guy check it out check it out let's fill those seats up for him